be follow our Instagram. Hey guys, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I do this easy pastel ombre tumbler tutorial. I have prepped my tumbler with white rust oleum clear spray, and I'm using the crafty glitter in Sakura and also mint. I'm using Helios glue as my adhesive, and I am using very thin coats of Helios glue. And then I start to ombre. If you were to ask me, I would say the tip to having a good ombre is that you have to hold your glitter up high. And also your tumbler has to be at a certain angle so that the glitter will fall off naturally on the other side. It's really hard to explain but the more you practice, the more better you get at ombre. I have not quite perfected my ombre but I feel like I don't dread ombre as much as I do the first and second time when I first tried. So after that I let it rest for 3 minutes and then after that I brush off all the excess glitter and then I did a second coat of Helios glue because I wanted it to be slightly darker. So the process is the same, I put on my glitter and then after that I ombre it and I let it rest for 30 minutes before I brush off all the excess glitter all over again. So this is after 30 minutes of drying time and I am just brushing off the excess glitter and then smooshing the glitters down. After that I did my first coat of Hyperion, I waited 2 hours. And then I did my second coat of Hyperion and then as usual I waited for two hours and then I did my first sand down. I did slightly different on this one and then I did my third coat of Hyperion, waited two hours and then I did my second sand down. This method is a little bit odd but I just wanted to try something different. And then after that, I did my vinyl. I didn't buy this SVG. I just made it using um, the fonts that I had. And I also offset my vinyl. So I am using two different vinyls. One from Oracle and one from Cricut. After I've pasted my vinyl, I sealed it with Helios glue and I waited 30 minutes before putting on my 4th coat of Hyperion and then 2 hours later, my 5th coat of Hyperion 2 hours later, my 3rd sand down and then after that, I did my 6th coat of Hyperion 2 hours later, I did my 7th coat of Hyperion and then 2 hours later, I did my 8th coat of Hyperion and then after that I did my fourth sand down and this is how it should look like when you are level sanding it should look all matte and there is no ridges and at the bottom if you can see there's this glossy bit that's the part where I did not sand down and that's how you know whether or not you have sanded well and then I did my ninth cut of Hyperion and this is how the finished product looks guys. Super 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 shiny. If you guys have any issues or problems or questions about Hyperion, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I will try my best to answer them all. And if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Yeah, I do. 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 I do